Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay So I welcome you all to the second live session of this course uh, titled Psychology of Stress Health and Wellbeing <coughs> So as you know, these live sessions are primarily for clearing your doubts or any kind of question that you would like to ask directly to me. <clears throat> as the course is in the video modules, mostly it is one way lecturing. Students generally they don't get you know opportunity to discuss or interact with the instructor. So these are the sessions where we get an opportunity to discuss with the instructor directly. So you are. <clears throat> You can uh, use this uh, interactive session. To clear your doubts. So till now, I think uh, I think five, six modules we have already covered. So if you have you have if you're finding anything, you know, any doubts, any clarification you'd like. Then please ask me here. <clears throat> OK. Bhumi Jain is asking, uh, hello, sir, I couldn't submit uh, five assignment. How can I do it now? Uh, Bhumi ji, I because as an instructor, uh, we I don't have any control over this uh, administrative uh, model, model uh, no, aspects. So so there is a deadline set by the uh, no, Mm, set by the IIT team Madras. So there is an everything is standardized. So there is a deadline within that you have to submit. After that, whether you will be able to do it or not, uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, but you can ask uh, to IIT Madras team. So there is an email ID support and PTL. You know, there is some email ID that we have shared in the Q and A session. Just find out that and ask them. But generally, once the deadline is over, it is difficult. Because and I don't have control over this thing to allow you or not to allow you. This is completely done by uh, the administrative staffs in the NPTEL, no? and uh, basically it is uh, centrally, you know, controlled by IIT Madras team. So I really will not be able to answer this question. Uh, but generally, once the deadline is passed, I think it is difficult. But what are the options and possibilities? You can ask using that mail. They will give you more clarity on that. Bomji uh, is asking, sir, I would like to know about question pattern. So question patterns, as I have already, I think, told you uh, in the uh, in the uh, that you know that um, course page also in the QA sections uh, that it will be very similar to the assignment type question. So there will be object, uh, no. Objective type questions, multiple choice type question, just like very similar to the question that you are asking in the assignment. So, <clears throat> but in the final exam, obviously, we will have questions from all the modules. There may be, so don't think only questions from the assignment will come. No, very few questions may come, but there can be many questions which are not there in the assignment and so on. So, there may, uh, in the final exam, there will be 50 questions. Each question will carry two marks. Okay. Bumiji asking very nice lectures, really interesting. Thank you. So this course course was designed primarily to make it kind of. So neuroplasticity, you don't have to use this concept. It is already there. No, your our brain is plastic in a sense. It can adapt. It can change according to the input that you give. The stimulation that you give to the brain. So if you if you if you uh, have a positive mindset, you 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 have more kind of sense of well-being, positive outlook, attitude, and you are exposed to kind of certain positive aspects of certain environmental stimulus, it will change your brain in a positive way. So you don't have to use the concept of plasticity. Kind of it is already there in the brain. So you, you need to provide right kind of stimulation and the feedback to the brain. So brain will change accordingly. The more you give certain kind of stimulus to the brain, so let's say you 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 train your mind to handle stress in a better way again and again and again. So then brain will learn it 
automatically you know so this is the way so automatically it will change physiologically structurally brain also so uh, so the neuroplasticity is already already there within this all these concepts you no know? brain is very dynamic it can change it can adapt depending on the kind of uh, stimulus kind of uh, uh, stimulation that you give to the brain so yes you know this concept we can understand you know and we can change ourselves uh, relatively permanently using the concept of neuroplasticity depending on the kind of stimulus that we give to the brain virat singh ji is saying uh, this course really helped me a lot to reduce stress thank you sir for such a lovely course submitting eight assignment without any doubt thank you virat ji i mean uh, i am very happy that you know you could apply some of the concept that we have discussed yeah so the idea is to understand the basic concepts so once you understand how your mind works then we can be able to deal with it you know so the problem is the coping uh, aspects of mind that what you can do consciously to change your mind change your pattern of thinking change your attitude uh, no one teaches us in the schools <clears throat> which is very unfortunate we only learn information 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 in all the classes uh, but we are never taught about how to deal with the problems of life deal with the stresses of life traumas of life how to shift perspectives and enhance our quality of life enhance our sense of well-being so this kind of courses can be helpful in those kind of learning life skills and so on so i am happy that at least you could you know apply some of these concepts <clears throat> okay so um, we are kind of uh, progressing in this course so the the later module will be kind of more about sense of well being you know so when we talk about uh, mental health particularly so there are two aspects one we talk about disorder and one we talk about well being part so just absence of disease is not health you know that is the idea so even if you may not have any disorder still you will not has experience sense of well being in life if something positive is not there in your life so one part of the course deals with uh, stress coping and those things and another part of this course deals with how to enhance sense of well being so that some include something positive in your life so so we have we tried to discuss different concepts theories and so on how to apply those theory to enhance happiness in your life well being in your life and all these things so all these are directly connected to lot of applications which can be applied in our daily life regina sebastian ji asking good afternoon sir how can i get revised question paper uh, what is revised question paper i am not able to understand question paper what kind of question paper final exam question paper uh, generally we don't uh, know it is not there in the portal so the questions should be similar to the assignment that you were doing and final exam we will have questions from all the modules so just go through all the modules understand the basic concepts there not be any problem because there is no subjective question like you have to, don't have to write long answers and so on choices will be there you have to kind of identify the right choice okay so um, so this is uh, kind of things that you were talking what i think now it is going on the coping aspects is going on then we will be talking more about uh, well being part or we will be talking about the concept of happiness what are the research evidence based interventions for enhancing happiness in our life we'll be talking about psychological strengths how to kind of understand that use that and so on we'll be talking about the long term uh, meaning quality of life like meaning in life and so on life goals and so on all these aspects we'll be talking about in the last part of this course
Or uh, Regina is asking, sir, just one query: Will the exam also be online and offline? Lectures were really very helpful. Thank you, Regina ji. The exam will be on the online mode only, but I think you have to you have to go to center specific centers that will be assigned. But it will be it will be in the online format. You have to kind of use this computer modules and so on. You don't have to write. It will be in the online format only. But you have to go to the exam center. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So I think um, if you, you are if you are finding any difficulties in understanding any concept, <coughs> you can ask here. <coughs> Ashes creativity, I think someone's name. What are the scopes after this course? Can I enter the area of profession? See, you cannot be a professional based on just one course. Okay. So no one will become a professional by doing a course. But this course could be helpful if you are doing certain professions or you are involved in certain professions or you are planning to do certain professions, as I said, which are related to, let's say, you know, counseling, clinical psychology, coaching aspects, you know life skill training and those kind of thing. So the content of this course could be very helpful in terms of uh, kind of applying uh, in the practical life of different professions. So certain professions will uh, benefit from this kind of courses. Yeah. And this course will be helpful in terms of understanding them. Uh, Virat Singh ji asking, sir, it is my humble request to you to please try to upload this course in Hindi because I think language should not be a barrier to anyone. Virat Singh ji, I understand your concern, uh, but as of now, all the NPTEL courses are in English. Mid English, the, inst the instruction of medium of instruction is English. But they are, I think, planning to uh, use uh, kind of translate most of these courses using many other languages also. They're trying to do this translation thing. But this course has already been recorded, so I think there is no scope for changing it into Hindi, but there can be subtitles of or in terms of transcript could be converted into Hindi. That is very much possible. That may happen very soon. So the transcript could be in you know, a kind of what the subtitles in the Hindi. I think the NPTEL is doing that. They're trying to translate uh, some of the courses into different languages and uh, Hindi is one such language. So maybe that uh, subtitles and other things in Hindi is possible in the near, near future. Uh, but the videos are already recorded, so I don't think there is any possibility of uh, converting it into Hindi in terms of audio. OK. Shubham ji asking, can we get previous year assignment and previous year exam question as well as? Uh, see, I think don't. There is no need for previous year's questions answered because this year it will be different. So I think uh, you should not get into those. Questions are very similar to what you were asked in the assignment. Just read the important concepts of each module. That will be good enough. Just try to understand all the modules, uh, basic concepts, theories, and some concepts and some theories, some major theories, name of some major people who have given certain theories. So those things you just try to remember. I think it should not be a problem. Uh, Kinjal ji asking, good afternoon, sir. Uh, the final exam paper will be based on lecture only, right? Are there any additional thing we need to study? No, there is no need to study anything additional. But you can read if you are interested, but the questions will not come beyond those what, we, what we, I have discussed. So there will not be any question outside what I have discussed in the lectures or in the lecture note. But for your interest, you can always read many things. 
So that's not. But but for question examination, you don't have to read anything beyond the lectures content that I have covered in the lecture. Regina ji asking uh, previous year question paper. So previous year question paper again. I mean it will not be of much help. And we generally there is uh, in the NPTEL module we don't submit or post final exam question paper. So it is we don't sub generally you know upload. And it is not required. You don't have to worry about it. Just understand the basic concepts of different modules. That is good enough. You don't have to write answers, long answers and those things. OK. <clears throat> Any more questions? Kinjalji saying thank you, sir. It's amazing to be part of this course. Thank you, Kinjalji. If somebody gets any kind of benefit from this course, I think the purpose of designing this course is fulfilled. You know. So obviously, this course can be helpful for certain professions, but most importantly, this is helpful for yourself, your life. That is the most important thing, you know. If you can enhance the quality of your own life. Other things will follow automatically, you know. And obviously these concepts are helpful in uh, many professions also. <clears throat> that can be helpful. OK. So. Do you have any questions <clears throat> you can take? You can uh, post here. So I'll wait for maybe two, three minutes more. If you have any doubts, you can post it here. Ash <clears throat> is asking uh, sir i didn't read psychology earlier but i'm attending lectures of this course regarding stress and happiness is it giving uh, psychology knowledge as well as like what is psychology yeah i mean uh, this is a course related to psychology but psychology has many sub disciplines uh, this is a particular few concepts I took from the discipline of psychology and made designed a course. So uh, in the first lecture, uh, in the video lecture you just attend, I discussed what is psychology, what is the meaning of psychology, and what we, what is this whole uh, discipline is all about. Then I started talking about this course content. So just just try to attend that first lecture. Just look at the first lecture uh, where we, in the beginning I discussed what is psychology. And then everything, uh, you know, then other things I have discussed, what this course is all about and so on. All the introductory things in the first lecture. So you don't have to read psychology for this course, as I said, you know, because all these concepts are related to our day to day life. Everybody can get benefit out of it, you know. So if you are from the discipline of psychology, obviously it will be, uh, you know, an added advantage to you. <clears throat> Yeah, so a lot of important concepts are covered in this course, which are related to psychology.
Okay, so I think uh, we'll have one more last uh, live session. Which may be uh, within a month, we'll have one more. <clears throat> so that will be the last one. So while you know, attending uh, lectures or you know, solving quizzes and so on, if you have any doubts, just note down. You can ask it in the next live session or you can post it in the Q&A session. Q&A uh, you know, of the section of the portal. In the portal itself, you can ask, uh, you know, place your queries. And I'll respond to that or some of the TAs will respond to that. OK, she is asking your sir. Thank you. Yuvraj course is very useful to me, sir. Thank you, Yuvraj. Yuva, Yuvraj, yes. OK. So I think. Uh, so these are some of the things I think. Uh, if you have sorry, exam date. Exam date, I think it will be posted. In the portal. It will be, I think, in the April, April only. So the exam dates and other things, all the details will be there in the portal. So the mail, mails will be also come through mails. Also, I think it will be communicated to all of you. So if you have, if you have registered for the exam, everything will be communicated to you. OK. So if you don't have any more questions, um, I will stop here. And uh, see you in the next live session. It will be again informed to you in the portal. And you can also post your queries in the portal itself. OK. So thank you for joining. See you in the next live session.